Hello techies, welcome to Microsoft Power Automate Tutorials. This is module 6, how to create and use team flows. In this module, we will learn how to create and use a team flow in Power Automate. Before starting this module, we want to know what the main purpose of team flow is. The main purpose of team flow is to share the flow by adding others as owners with the names or by adding email addresses or by adding user groups in your organization so that they can manage the flows like edit or delete the flow and also they can view the history of all runs of the particular flow. What are the prerequisites for this one? So the main prerequisite is, is paper use subscription or organization email ID or work or school email ID related. Okay, if you're having any personal email ID, you will get, uh, you know, uh, you can't do this team flows in the particular Power Automate. For that, you have to pay for the subscription or else you have to use organization email ID or work email ID or school email ID. Now we will see what is the main advantage of the team flow. First one is that we can maintain the flow with multiple people or group of the people. The second one is that if the creator of the flow leaves the organization so that the co-owners of that flow can maintain without any issues. Third one, all the owners of the team flow can view the flow history they can manage the properties, they can edit the flow, they can add and remove the owners, and also if they want, they can delete the flow also. Let me switch to Microsoft Power Automate. Now I am in the Microsoft Power Automate home. So to create a team flow, just go to my flows. Here you can find what are the flows have been created already by using your ID. So that you know, I have already created Gmail SQL is one of the flow and service now modified SQL Outlook. Another flow is that is service now hyphen SQL hyphen Outlook. If you see on the topmost, we are having my flows, team flows, business process flows, UI flows, right? Right now, what are the flow that have been created? UI flow has been created that all the things are available in my flows. Now. Let me go to team flows. This feature is not available for the personal email ID. I'm repeating again. This feature is not available for the personal email ID until and unless you are having pay subscription. Okay. For that reason, you know what you have to do. You have to use organization email ID or work email ID or school related email ID. I'm using my, you know, corporate email ID for this purpose. Okay. So now if you see over here, you don't have any flows over here. You can see the option choose from hundreds of the templates to start the automation for your workflow, right? Now to get it, the flows over here, what I have to do, just first go to my flows. And then if you see over here, there's the option edit as well as the share. Now click on the share. Now you will get an option owners and also embedded connection. You will see if I want to add for the particular flow, I want to add the owners. Now I'm only the one owner over here. I'm just blurring all the email IDs for the confidentiality purpose. Okay, please don't mind, but the functionality is the same. Okay, over here, if you see, I'm having the owners, uh, adding another owner allows others to edit, update and delete this flow. All the owners can access the run history and, or, and add or remove the other owners also. In simple way, whatever you want to do, if you want to add the owners for the particular uh, you know, flow, you can go ahead and you can add it. If you want to remove the owners, you can remove it. If you want to edit the flow or delete the flow or update the flow, you can do it all the things when the particular user has been updated. Okay, particular owner has been given the permissions. Now what I'm going to do, uh, you know, I will just give any name, whatever I have in my organization so that, so that it will be, you know, adding to the particular group or the, you know, I'm going to add a user or group as a owner. 
Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just giving some name, rough name. Uh, I will give it. I will give my name itself if it is available with the same name over there. Okay. There are a lot of people are available so that I'm selecting one of the person so that you can see over here connections use and the owners of the flow will have full access to all the connections in the flow. Okay. And also you can see my, uh, you know, previous connections related to this flow. I'm having Gmail connection, right? I'm having my test uh, SQL server connections also. So that what I'm going to do for the particular connection of particular flow, I'm going to make him as a owner for that one. So I'm clicking on OK. And now you can see it is going to be adding over here. And then the particular user is, is becoming as a, you know, owner for the particular flow. Now, if I want to delete that owner, you can go ahead, you can delete it. If you see there's an option, now we can go ahead and we can delete it. Before that, let me go back to my flow and let me go to team flows. And you can see the team flow has been moved from my flows to the team flows. Okay. If you understand, if you observe it, Previously, that whatever the Gmail hyphen SQL was there in my team, my flows, right? Now it has been moved to team flows. So the, you know, I have added one of the user over there, right? So that person can access these flows over there. Okay. And now let me go back and let me go ahead once again, share. If you see the embedded connections over here, you can see embedded connections. These embedded connections is nothing but what are the connections have been used. So the same connections are also available in their connection list. Okay. You can see connections in use connections are listed or actively being used in this flow. You can see, you can go ahead. You can manage from here also, but as of now, we are not going to do that. Okay. So this is all about the team flows. Now I will show you how to delete the owners. Okay. Owners for the particular flow. Let assume, you know, if X person has leaving the organization, who is the creator of the particular flow, if he is leaving the organization so that, you know, what we have to do by agreement, you know, we have to delete the owner of that one and giving the permissions to others. Right. So, so that they can manage it, manage the flow uh, without any issues. Correct. Now, how can we delete the, you know, users or the, uh, you know, users are the owners. Let me go to my flows. And you can see over here, let me click on team flows. And again, I'm going for the selecting for the particular flow. And then I'm going for the share. And then at the bottom side, you can see the owners add user or the group owners. Now what we have to do, we are going to delete the owner. Correct. I have added one of the person with the name of Amir myself, you know, I'm just giving the sample name and then I got, uh, there's a lot of people with the name, same name. So what I'm going to do, I have added one of the person. Now I'm going to delete that person. Okay. Let's go ahead. You can see there's a delete option. Click on that. You can see over here, are the show to, uh, you know, you want to remove the particular person. Yes, I want to, I'm going ahead and remove it. So the user has been successfully deleted. Okay. And the same person, and you can see if you want to add some more in the same way, you can go ahead and you can add it. And if you want to edit the flow, you can go ahead and you can edit from here. And you can see what are the Gmail, SQL, uh, whatever the flow that we have already, we can go ahead, we can edit it. Okay. The same way how the creator is doing like editing, updating the flow, all these things you can go ahead and you can do that. I hope you understand how to use and how to create team flows. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. Your feedback and appreciation are very valuable to us. Thank you for watching Microsoft Power Automate tutorials. We will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a nice day.